Today we're back to the exciting true Bible story of Elijah in 1 Kings chapter 19. We learned yesterday that Elijah talked to God a lot and then told others what God said to him. But not everyone liked what Elijah said or did for God. The queen of the land, Queen Jezebel, didn't like Elijah at all. She said she'd kill Elijah. Wow, that's not a very nice queen. Elijah was afraid of Queen Jezebel, so he ran away. Ah! When he was far away from Jezebel, Elijah sat under a tree and prayed. Elijah was sad and tired. He told God, I've had enough. Elijah fell asleep under the tree and woke up when an angel touched him. Huh? The angel told Elijah to get up and eat. Elijah looked around and saw some bread and a jar of water next to him. That's amazing! Elijah ate and drank and went back to sleep. The angel came back and woke Elijah again and told him to eat and drink more because Elijah would need strength for a big trip. After Elijah ate again, he had enough energy to travel a long way to Mount Sinai. It took him 40 days and 40 nights. Elijah spent the night in a cave on Mount Sinai, but Elijah didn't do too much resting because God spoke to him. God said, What are you doing here, Elijah? Elijah said, I've served you, God, but many people in Israel haven't, and they've even killed people who follow you, and now my life's in danger. God told Elijah to come out of the cave and stand on the mountainside. God passed by Elijah, and then a huge windstorm hit the mountain. But God wasn't in the wind. After the wind came an earthquake that made the ground move and shake. But God wasn't in the earthquake either. After the earthquake, there was a fire. But God wasn't in the fire. After the fire, there was the sound of a gentle whisper, peaceful and comforting. And Elijah protected his face with his coat and went to the entrance of the cave. God comforted Elijah and said he had people ready to help Elijah. After his amazing talk with God on Mount Sinai, Elijah had the strength and courage to keep doing what God told him to do. God has the power to comfort. 